Let's graph the equation y equals 3x plus 6. And we'll do it two ways. First, we're going to make a table of values, and then we'll plot those points on the graph. Next, we'll use the slope-intercept formula to check our work. So when I choose values to put in for x, I really want things to fit on my graph. I think I'll start out with 0 for x. So 3 times 0, that's 0. 0 plus 6, that's just 6. So my first point is 0, comma 6. And that'll fit on my graph. If I put negative 1 in, if negative 1 for x, 3 times negative 1, that's negative 3. Negative 3 plus 6, that'll give me a positive 3. So that's my next point. And I think I'll put negative 2 in here. Negative 2 for x, 3 times negative 2, that's negative 6 plus 6. That gives me 0. And again, I could put any values in for x, but these, they fit pretty nicely here on the graph. So let's graph these points so we get the line for y equals 3x plus 6. So we go to 0 for x, and y is 6. That's our first point. We go to negative 1 for x, and then 3 for y. And we could draw our line with just two points, but I like having a third point just to make sure that I didn't make a mistake. Negative 2 and 0. Negative 2, 0, and there's our line. You can see it. Let's put a line through that. And we'll put arrows to show that this goes to infinity. So this is the line, the graph, for y equals 3x plus 6. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. b is the y-intercept, and that's 6. So what that means is that we have our y-axis here. We're going to intercept the y-axis at 6 right there. That makes a lot of sense. For the 3, that's our slope. It's helpful to think of that as 3 over 1, because we could call that rise over run. Then we go to our y-intercept. We rise 1, 2, 3, and we go over 1. And you can see that would be on our line. We can go the opposite direction, too. We could go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and then over to the left 1. And that's on our line. And we could keep doing that 1, 2, 3, over 1, 1, 2, 3, over 1. And all the points are going to be on the line there. So that shows that we did this first part correctly and that this is the graph for y equals 3x plus 6. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.